Hey, welcome to Only Right Gaming. So what you're seeing here is me inspecting the other team's build in a match of conflict. And what you notice about their builds, their running is the meta, of course. Intimidate, adrenaline rush. Now in no way this is hating on what they're running. You know, you run what you want in this game. But my build videos are for the people that still like to play this game. And they may be getting bored of what they're running. So my build videos gives you a layout for something a little different if you haven't tried it. That's all. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to hate on what anybody runs in this game. So this is my ongoing directive build. Enjoy the clips. The enemy is about to claim the supply drop. So here's how I built my version of ongoing directive that I use in PvP. So my primary that I use is the ACR with Sadis for that extra 20% weapon damage to bleeding targets. My secondary for close quarter combat is the M870 Express Shotgun with close and personal killing the target within 7 meters grants 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. Now I've seen how people use ongoing directive before and I've seen a lot of people usually build it around st uh, status effects. But I chose to build mine around DPS and reload speed because when I play shooters, it seems like I always get caught and get killed while I'm, you know, reloading. I either just get killed or I say to myself, dang, man, he, he, he got me because I was reloading. So it's just one of my pet peeves when I play shooters. So I decided to try building around reload speed. The two-piece Fenris gives you an extra 20% reload speed. And... Ongoing directive gives you another third, which gives me 50% extra reload speed. So I brought my ACR down to I think 1.5 seconds. Let's look at that again for the reload speed. Yeah, 1.5 seconds. So I'm gonna start off with the shotgun so I can show you how fast it reloads. I'm just empty the clip. Now here's how fast my ACR reloads. Let me get them to the clip out. So as you can see, it's pretty fast. So as you can see, my Fender's Mass has critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage mod. The backpack, I'm running Wicked. Of course, you know, you get that 18% weapon damage for 20 seconds to status affected enemies. Has headshot damage, critical hit damage, and another critical hit damage mod. I chose to use the chest piece for the rules of engagement. It also gives you an extra 35% damage boost once you get those hollow point ammo. Uh, the build really gets rolling when you 
get those hollow points that's the main part of using ongoing directive the way i have it built i rolled armor on my holster has critical hit chance my gloves critical hit chance five percent and the knee pads six percent critical hit chance so here's the stats for my weapons there's my acr for 44,000, 53.2 critical hit chance, 104.6 critical hit damage, which is not a lot, but you get all your damage through Sadis, Wicked, and the Parabellum rounds, the 35% extra boost from the hollow tip rounds. So, yeah, it, it hits once you get the hollow points rolling. So, I also use the Jammer poles for those annoying seeker mines, of course turrets. Also gives the status effect to the player, the prop wicked. And of course I use a bleed hide. Keep that bleed going. So yeah, if you haven't run ongoing directive this way, I recommend you try it. Because it, it does hit pretty decent. You know, especially you might want to use a defender drone because I am squishy or if you got a healer in your group or somebody with a target grade you know of course that'll help but like I said if you want to try a little something different with on gun directive give it a spin like I always say put your own twist on it so if you like the video it's only right you subscribe thanks for watching